This fracking on more than a million acres of public land in California is just an idea right now, but it has many throughout the Central Valley concerned. The Bureau of Land Management took public comment today in Bakersfield. Jeff Platt explains why people are worried and why this was a long time coming. Jeff? Well, Dave Rochelle, this plan didn't materialize out of nowhere. It's actually based on a plan the BLM drew up in 2014, and the land up for grabs has been available for decades. <laughs> A few dozen protesters gathered outside the county admin building more than an hour before the BLM meeting started. The giant inhaler with them, a display of their main concern. Opening up all of our public land will just open up more possibilities for more particulate matter pollution, more toxic pollution, um, and a range of other environmental pollution. Here's the thing, the plan doesn't open up all public land, and just because land can be drilled on doesn't mean it will. So if somebody wants to come in and, and lease a particular parcel, they'd have to come in, give us an expression of interest, and we'd go through a leasing process, which would be another environmental review that would be open to the public. Once the land is leased, exploration still needs to be permitted, which is another environmental study. All told, even if this plan does go through, which will take months, it would be another six months minimum after that for any drilling or fracking to start. Express concern tonight. Okay. While most public comments were against the idea and really just oil and gas in general, those in favor, like Gabriela Gonzalez with Current Citizens for Energy, say most concerns can be addressed with a guided tour of a fracking site. A lot of the groups want to see this because they think that they're going to unveil or reveal something hidden. And when they go and we show them this is the process and this is all it is, um, it kind of goes silent. Now, this was just one of three public comment sessions, but the other two are out of town. So if you want to get your thoughts into the BLM, go over to their website and send those in before the 45-day period is up in June. Live in studio today, Jeff Platt, Eyewitness News.